The church is supposed to be unified, but did you know that there are three different kinds of church unity? There is relational unity, which means we all like each other. We're friends. There's theological unity, which means we agree the same things about doctrine in the Bible. And then there is a missional unity, which means we agree on what we're doing, the mission of what we're here to accomplish. Most churches operate in a misplaced order. They either put first relational unity, which says, well, we have to like each other. We better, if I don't get along, I don't belong here. Theological unity, sometimes a second or first, we have to agree. We have to make sure that we all have the exact same theology on all areas. And then maybe we agree on missional unity, but oftentimes that isn't even included. But really, the church should begin with where the Savior began. Jesus gave us a mission. Missional unity should go first. He said, go and make disciples. That really is what should bring us together. We should be unified over the mission of the church. Then, theological unity, where we say we understand what the basic tenets of our theology are, the Word of God, the identity of Jesus, and who God is and God's Word. And then in areas of more fringe things, we can agree to disagree as long as we agree with the mission of the church and what Jesus has told us and who Jesus is. And then we work on relational unity. Since we're all on the same mission and we all agree on the core tenets of our theology, we are going to work to get along. We're going to work to bear with one another and love one another, even though we don't all agree on all the different little things. But now, our unity is based on the fact that we have been given a mission by God to get the job done and make disciples. Let's work on first our missional unity, our theological unity, and then make sure we have great relational unity.